Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mimic Simulator SNMP V3 demonstration. I'm going to demonstrate an SNMP V3 traffic threshold fault scenario using the Mimic Simulator and an NMS application called Interpol. From Mimic View, you can see all of the SNMP and SNMP V3 simulated devices running in Mimic. Now each of them have their own live IP address which means they can be pinged and respond to SNMP v3 queries from a network management system. Again, the green icons indicate the running devices and the red icons indicate the stop devices. All of these devices are configured by default to reply to SNMP v3 queries so they are ready to be managed using an NMS application. Now let's take a look at these running devices from the perspective of an NMS. In this case, we will continue to use SNMP Research's Interpol. You can see that the simulated network is already discovered by Interpol's network map and has created a topology view. Now your NMS probably polls regularly collecting their management information. Typically, you are interested in seeing whether any thresholds are crossed or not. Now, for example, you want to know if the traffic at an interface jumps to an extremely high or, in some cases, low value. That event might signal a problem with an interface, or insufficient capacity, or even a hostile attack such as a DDoS on your network. Now, when such a condition occurs, you want the NMS to provide an alert so you can take some action on it. Now, let's create that traffic fault scenario using the Mimic Simulator and Interpol. On Interpol, we are running a polling script, which is set to execute every 5 seconds to check if the threshold of 10 million is crossed for the MIB object IFN octets to keep track of the input traffic. From Mimic, you can send out interface counter traffic easily at any high or low rate at runtime. So let's select the device at 10509. From the speed bar, Click on to Values. Again, this will launch the Value Space Browser, which is used to manipulate values returned by the objects associated with the device agent. From the Value Browser, let's go to the IFN Octets object. Interfaces, IF Table, and we'll scroll down to the IFN Octets. So the left side, as you can see, is the MIB browser. Now the right side contains the rows of instances and the column of values against each instance. Let's look at the value space for instance 13, for example. It is currently set to a rate of 10 octets per second, and everything is normal from the NMS's perspective. We can inject a problem situation simply by modifying the value space to a rate of, say, 100 million. Return, and then apply. So as you can see, we've changed the IFN octets rate, for instance 13, to 100 million octets per second. That's a significant change right there. Now going back to Interpol, which is already running the threshold script, we can see that the icon has changed for the device at 10509 because it detected an event. Now let's launch the event browser for that device. Right mouse click, event console. We have the event browser and you can see we have a warning for a high IFN octets for instance 13. Of course we can select that event and then acknowledge it. Back at the network map you can see the color of the icon for device at 10509 goes back to the original green color. This showed you how you can test your configurations by quickly simulating a faulty scenario using the Mimic Simulator. Thanks for watching.